The Douglas X3 Stiletto, developed in the early 1950s, stands as one of the most distinctive experimental aircraft in aviation history. With its slender fuselage, long tapered nose, and small trapezoidal wings, the X3 earned the nickname Flying Fountain Pen due to its unusual silhouette. Contracted in 1947, the X-3 was designed to investigate sustained supersonic flight at speeds of Mach 2 to 3 and test the feasibility of low aspect ratio wings along with large-scale titanium usage in aircraft structures. Douglas Aircraft Company engineers explored over 60 different aerodynamic configurations before finalizing the design, which received official approval on June 30, 1949. The X-3's development faced significant challenges. Initially planned to use powerful Westinghouse J46 engines, technical limitations forced Douglas to substitute much weaker Westinghouse J34 turbojets that produced only 4,900 pounds of thrust each with afterburners, roughly half the originally intended power. This engine downgrade severely compromised the aircraft's performance capabilities. The first X-3 was delivered to Edwards Air Force Base on September 11, 1952. Test pilot Bill Bridgman conducted the official first flight on October 20, 1952, following an earlier hop during high-speed taxi testing. Bridgman completed 26 flights before the Douglas test program concluded in December 1953. Despite its futuristic appearance, the X-3 proved severely underpowered. Its takeoff speed was exceptionally high at 260 miles per hour, and it couldn't exceed Mach 1 in level flight. The aircraft's fastest recorded speed was Mach 1.208, achieved during a 30-degree dive on July 28, 1953. The X-3's most significant contribution came unexpectedly on October 27, 1954, when NECA pilot Joseph Walker experienced roll inertia coupling during testing, a dangerous phenomenon where a maneuver in one axis causes unintended movement in others. This near-catastrophic incident provided crucial data that helped engineers understand and solve similar problems occurring in operational aircraft like the F-100 Super Sabre. Though never achieving its intended research goals, the X-3's technological legacy continued through the Lockheed F-104 Starfighter, which adopted a similar wing design. The X-3 also advanced tire technology to handle its extreme takeoff and landing speeds. Only one X-3 was fully built despite plans for two aircraft. After completing 51 test flights, the Seoul X-3 was transferred to the National Museum of the United States Air Force in 1956, where it remains on display in the Research and Development Gallery.